the swirling of the wine helps the wine to oxidize and to release the aromas and the esters. Now, before we go to that particular part of smelling and trying the wine, we have to know first the color. Looking at the color or the, the side of the wine, you can see first, is the wine clear or the wine is kind of a foggy or misty? What we see in this glass, a fantastic clarity. I can see uh, good complexity of the color. Uh, we can tell it as a day bright. Could be star bright or day bright, depends on the complexity of the color as well. And as well, to verify what is the type of wine into the glass, uh, you have to swirl the wine. Swirling the wine will let the wine release those tears or the legs Tinier the legs, faster they're running down, lighter and less complex the wine it is. So it could be stainless steel fermented, uh, it will be lighter on the alcohol as well, and will be lighter as, as a type of wine, as a body. If you have a slower legs, kind of a tick, very consistent, going down very slowly, it could be a wine that is more full-bodied, more complex. It could be wood involved into the entire process of the winemaking, uh, and uh, it could be a different type of grape varietal. We say heavier, more complex the legs, we have to look in the complexity of the color as well.